Hello, and welcome to building a Tag Cloud View and Navigator application. This demonstration shows how to build a Notes 8 composite application that includes existing NSF based components and new Java based components. To show you how easy this is in Lotus Notes 8, here's Joe. Hi there, today we're going to be taking a discussion database and giving it a little bit of a facelift using composite apps. We're going to take the categorized view here, where I normally have a whole bunch of categories, and we're going to instead let you select those categories via a tag cloud, which is implemented in Eclipse. So the first thing we have to do is create the composite application. New file, application, new. And just like any other database, we give it a name. And we, we choose a template of a blank composite application. This does all the business to give you the basis for starting an application. And true to form, it starts off with a blank application. Now we then have to go edit the composite application to add things to it. We don't do this with Domino Designer, we do it with the composite application editor, which is accessed through Actions Edit Application. The composite application editor has on the left hand side a list of all the components in our application, on the right hand side a list of all the components in our palette that we can add up to the application, and in the middle it shows the actual application. So we're going to be using these four components here in the general to build our application. First we're going to add in Document Viewer. This allows us, this is a, a little utility component that allows us to give it a notes URL to a document and have it display that document. In this case it's going to be a URL to the view that we saw in the other database. Uh, we're going to add a tag cloud next to it, which is what we're going to use to display the categories weighted by the number of articles in them. Uh, there's a couple of other utility components that we're going to use. One is a constants component, which we're going to use to store the URL of the view that we're going to use. And we're going to make that really small because it doesn't actually have any UI. And we're going to take this component here, a notes view to tag cloud component, which has a bunch of the number crunching necessary to calculate the weighting for the various categories in the database. Now you know when we add when we've been adding these components, we get these little rectangles appear on the screen that says that where it would appear if we dropped it. Now we can drop it like on a thing up here, it appears in a um, tabbed folder. If we move it slightly differently, we can see it appears in that as a column. So I'm going to put it there as a column, and I'm going to shrink it down a bit. Next, we're going to customize the instances of some of these components by changing their fixed properties. Uh, the constants components, for example, edit the component properties and go to the advanced properties. And we're going to add in field1, and we're going to give it a value of this notes URL which is a pointer to the actual by category view in that database. Um, the constants component itself essentially takes the value you give as an advanced property and broadcasts it as a property, which we can then wire to the other components, which we'll do in a minute. We're then going to go to our little calculation component here, and it needs to know... Uh, it needs to know what field in the database we're to use for categorization. So we need to tell it the field to use is categories. So that is the field that is used to store the categories in your standard discussion database. So that component's all set. Uh, lastly, we're going to go to the tag cloud component here. And we're going to change right now, say it says interests there, we're going to change that to say categories. And we can do that by setting the title on it to categories. Now these advanced properties here vary from component to component. I looked in the documentation for these components to find out which ones they supported and set them appropriately. The last thing to do to make all of this work together is to actually wire everything up. So let's just do things in order. We're going to start with the constants component. And we're going to pull up the wiring in field 1, which we set there to be the notes URL. We're going to first of all map that to the show document action on the document viewer. This means when that launches up and that value becomes valid, it then shoots it over to the document viewer, which will load that in. In this case, it's going to be our notes view. Uh, we do also want to send that value to the notes tag, notes view to tag cloud calculation component as the URL, because it needs to know where to go crunch the numbers from, and this tells it go to that database and go to that view. 
Now once it actually crunches that number, it passes it on next. So in our data flow, we're going to go there next. I'm selecting this and making that the component we're focused on. So we can see that it spits out the property tag cloud data. And we map that, we wire that to the primary data of the tag clouds. Because like, okay, here's what we want to show. Here it is. Now show it. And the last step is we're going to go and focus on the tag cloud component. Because we don't just want this to be visual, we actually want it to be navigation wise as well. And when you actually click on something in the tag cloud, it sets the property focused entity. Now what we're going to do is we're going to map that back to the document viewer to the column filter. And what will this will then do is show us that view, but it will only show the elements of the selected category. So let's put this all together. Okay, everything's set, so we're going to stop editing the application, go back to viewing it in the notes client, and we should click all documents, and boom, there are our tags. And as we select a tag, boom, we get to see just that category. Uh, the smaller one, we can see that, boom, yep, yeah, that's all the elements of that category, that one, that's all the elements of that category there. Uh, and the thing to note that, you know, there are different screen resolutions. Users can, you know, modify their layout as they like when they're a particular installation. As befits the number of tags and stuff. And that's it. Thanks, Joe. If you're interested in finding out more about composite applications in Lotus Notes 8, have a look at these resources. Thanks for watching.